All right, couple things. Um, if you if I, I changed the link in the uh, folder for the videos because huh, I just unmuted myself. I have to do that every time, and I realized that yesterday when I recorded, I forgot to unmute it. Um, so it's like the whole video, but it's just math appearing out of nowhere. Someone that was absent tried to watch it, and they're like, "I can't hear you, sir." I turned it all the way up. And my dad said, turn down that silence. It's too loud. But he couldn't hear my voice. So um, here's what I did. Uh, if you go to Canvas and look at the top, I added another link. And then uh, it says video lessons now and old test. So I kept that at the top. That's the top of, at the top of my web page. So I put it at the top of Canvas. So the video lessons uh, link used to take you right to y'all's this year pre-cal folder. But I said, you know what? Um, if, if ever I forget to hit unmute again, cause it could happen. I don't want them to be without videos. So I just sent you to the entire screencast, Google drive folder. And now you can navigate to wherever you want. You can watch some ISM videos that I did last year. You can even watch calculus videos if you want. Um, but click on pre-cal and then there's 21, 22 chapter one. Um, there it is. So if you click on a video there and you're like, can't hear you, just go back to, uh, here and then try a previous year because the notes really haven't changed much in several years. So chances are it's the same, the same problem. Click on chapter one and you know, you can find it in there as well. So whatever. If you hear me talking about like President Obama or something, or who was the last Trump, you know, whatever, uh, you know, it's from years past, whatever. Um, so there you go. I gave you that option. Uh, the other thing that I put at the top was the, the uh, old test for more practice, put the old test link. We're going to be testing next week, either on Wednesday or Friday. I have to test on A days being a math dude. So we'll test over 1.1 and 1.2. There's a test from 2015 that has the key posted. Um, and then there's several more that start at 1.1 and go a little bit further. Um, Cause when we test again, we'll test over 1.1 through 1. whatever. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different for all of us next uh, Wednesday or Friday because we're testing in class. Wow, yeah, in 50 minutes. I don't know if you tested at all last year in class, but they were an hour and a half long. So we're back to 50 minutes and we're in class and there's no help. You know, there's, you got to know it up here in your head. So that hasn't happened in a math class probably in a year and a half for you. So um, all of these tests that are on this website were designed to be taken in 50 minutes. Okay. Typically nine multiple choice questions and one free response with multiple parts worth nine points apiece. So what I would recommend, especially for the first one, so it doesn't blindside you, um, there's the 2015 test. Sit down with a egg timer that's really loud. Click, 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 you know, so you can focus through it and uh, practice it. See if you can take it. See if you can do the whole thing in 50 minutes. If not, you know, check the key, see how to do it, and then do it again, all right? Print out another one or get another blank copy, 50 minutes. Um, it's kind of like the dress rehearsal, you know, whatever, if, if, if your, you know, your performance is the dress rehearsal and the practice all in one, it's probably not going to go off without a hitch. So, you know, if you want to do well, it's just a matter of how well do you want to prepare? Okay. So that's up there. Um, and then uh, someone, two people actually have already come in and said, Hey, we've done the worksheet already. We've gone through the notes again on our own. Can you give us more problems? And I'm like, math problems? Oh, yes, please. I'm like, okay, because I got some other types. But I have to fix those myself, my wife says. You can't help with those. It's hard for me to find more problems that are like the worksheet because, you know, they've got my, my, my special seasoning on them. And I can give you a book that has pre-cal on it. And some of the sections go like, up to 120 problems, but they're, um, they're really straightforward, some of them. So it's not going to have that little, uh, that, that, that signature, 
you know, problem that I've created. But if you want, you can go back and work some of these tests because they, they do have the same feel, you know, and the key is posted. Uh, but here's what I'll say about preparing. You know, the worksheets are your number one way to prepare. Let's so let's go take a look at the worksheet. It was due this morning at nine, and I normally don't go over the worksheet as a group, but because the first one's been due, we should probably talk about it. Um, they're set up much like your tests are going to be: part multiple choice, part free response. The idea there is that um, you'll get used to that format. Okay. Now, when it comes time for the test, um, when you're working by yourself. You'll have five answer choices. If you don't know how to do a problem, you can literally just any, mini, mighty mow it and guess. And if it's right, I'll give you credit for it, right? It has nothing to do with knowing math. Sometimes it's just luck. Sometimes you're able to narrow it down to maybe one out of three, maybe even one out of two. But because you're looking at your own paper and not anybody else's, if you guess, you'll get it right, okay? Um, if you have to retest or you miss the day of the test, everything turns to a short answer. And now there, you can't just guess. There's a higher burden of proof. But when you're practicing and you see multiple choice questions on the worksheet, I do not want the multiple choice section of the worksheet to be a chance for you to practice your guessing, right? Like, oh, crap, I forgot about the worksheet. It's due in five minutes. Number one is uh, I'm going to go with D. Number two, I'm going to B. No, D again. Yeah, right? That doesn't do anybody any good. So. Uh, these these questions that are multiple choice, most of them, not every single one of them, most of them require some sequence, some steps, some, some work uh, to get from what I give you to the right answer. If you turn in the worksheet into Canvas and I'm going through it and I don't see any work, okay, then one of two things. If I don't see work and then I see all the wrong answers, then you're you're violating the only rule I have in class, which is to care behind you up there right then you're not caring and i'm like <laughs> why are you not caring we talked about it on day one everyone said they're here on their own free will no one coerced you to be here everyone cares right okay so we'll have to have that talk like why are you not caring i don't know sir well you need to switch to a class on campus where the teacher's okay with you not caring where it's okay not to care and you gotta do that by friday right or by the end of the nine weeks is there such a class on campus where teachers are like, I don't care if you care or not? What's that? Probably not. Right. Okay. Somebody first period said PE. And I'm like, oh, no. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah. No, I mean, te te if teachers are worth their salt, they absolutely care whether or not you care or not. So, yeah, there's really no place to run and hide except, you know, I don't know, drop out of school, but don't do that either because you know i care i don't want that to happen then there's not having any work and having all the right answers down the left hand side and now it's like whoa that's worse isn't it that's worse because now now you're indicting yourself right you're telling me hey boss i cheated right i cheated i got the answers illicitly i didn't think you noticed i didn't i didn't know you went to college I, I I didn't think you'd notice. I just, I put all the right answers thing, and you just looked at the answers, not like saw these giant fields of blank white. I didn't think you'd catch that, right? I just put A because I someone told me the answer was A. I put B because the key said B, right? Oh, now oh now we have to have that conversation about cheating. So either way, it's it's not good. So I only grade these on completion. So. There's really nothing to lose by trying, right? Try, try, try again. If you get stuck, that's what the keys are there for, you know, to, to not say, okay, I tried it once. Now can I copy the key? Now can I? No. Okay. If you copy the key, I'm assuming you've gone through line by line as you're copying my work and be like, how'd you get that? Oh, okay. That's, oh, that's how you got that. Okay. And then it's fine. Okay. As long as you've, you've learned from it, because I know you don't always want to come in, you know, for tutorials, but many people have. In fact, many people have come in because they've been stuck, they've consulted the key, it's helped them, but then they've gotten to one of my solutions on the key and they're like, I don't understand how you did that, Mr. Cor. I understand all the others that you did, but that one I don't understand, okay? And that's what I wanna go over. 
there's been several questions during tutorials, which I'm here every morning, by the way. In the afternoons, I'm typically here, except Mondays when I have duty. I did have to leave yesterday. Um, but number seven, let's work number seven together. Um, a couple of people saw the way I worked this on the key and, and they didn't understand the way I did it. So let me just talk about how I would do it today. Uh, I would plug in, right? So C, uh, C to the negative two all over C to the negative three minus C to the negative three over C to the negative two. Now, just kind of a, a heads up when it comes time to take the test. Part of the reason I, uh, I give multiple choices, not just to take you to an answer choice that you normally wasn't, otherwise wouldn't get to, but um, it, it's a skill set in and of itself. So what you want to do when you, when you set it up is look at your answer choices, preview them, if you will, because the way that the answer choices are, are looking might inform how you want to proceed. So aside from A and C, notice three of the five are fractions that look similar to each other, right? Now, if you know anything at all about test design, if three of the five look a certain way, more than likely one of those three is the right answer, right? So if you had to guess, like on a test, you probably would not guess A or C. That's not to say A or C can't ever be right, but that's just test design, how it typically works. All right, so one in three, uh, chance is better than one in five. The other thing you're going to notice here is of the ones that are fractions, they are single fractions, one term. And what I have set up here is two terms, okay? One, two. And in order to get two fractional terms into a single term, you need a common what? Denominator. So now you're telling yourself, got to get a common denominator, got to get a common denominator. Okay, okay. The other thing you'll notice is that those three answer choices do not have negative exponents, do they? Mm -mm. So now you're like, got to get rid of the negative exponents, then get a common denominator. Get rid of the negative exponents, then get a common denominator. That's a plan. Okay, now let's do the plan. Getting rid of the negative exponents is what I would do first. Do the double flip Rooney, as I call it. Bring the factors from high to low, low to high. <clears throat> that gives us C cubed over C squared minus C squared over C cubed. Now, on the, the key, I went ahead and got a common denominator right here. The least common multiple of C squared and C cubed is C cubed. So I multiplied the first one by C over C, combined them, and then I had to factor out a C squared. We have not reviewed factoring yet as a group. Y'all have supposedly learned factoring, right? At several steps along the way, but we haven't reviewed it. So if you saw what I did, you're like, what the heck is that strange step? It's factoring, okay? We're gonna review that in the next section. But what I've been saying in class, or I hope I've been saying it, maybe I haven't, is to simplify early and often. I didn't do that here. I was in a certain mood, I guess, when I made the key. I was tired of simplifying. I was tired of me telling me what to do. Ah, I'm gonna do it my own way for once instead of the way I tell myself. I'm gonna simplify now, okay? Because a lot of the C's divide out. If you use the rule of exponents subtracting, you get three minus two is one, two minus three is negative one, okay? You could do it that way. And now you look and you're like, ooh, 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 C minus C, that's zero, which is answer choice A. But is that C minus C? No, that's C minus C to the negative first, so it's not zero. So what I'm gonna do is write them as fractions, C over one minus one over C. That's what it's equal to. And maybe you get straight to that step from that second to bottom line on the left. Now that I've simplified, now that I've simplified, right, is that good? This is C over one, C over one. Now I'm gonna get a common denominator, okay? Now the common denominator is C. So I'm gonna multiply this by C over C or crisscross applesauce, whatever you wanna do, all right? And that gives you uh, C squared over C minus one over C. And now when you add straight across and keep your denominators, you get D 
as the right answer. D is in dang, that was fun. Thanks, Mr. Corpy. Yeah, you're welcome. So back when back in the day, the classes used to have a lot more homework. Did you know that? This is still when we had athletics and band and all the extracurriculars. But it was before you're like, I can't do homework. I have to, you know, I guess we had video, we had Super Mario Brothers 8 bit and before that Atari, but I don't know. What else, what else competes with your attention, right? The phone, anything on the phone. Um, there was an algebra teacher here that every day signed 50 problems for homework, every day. And kids did it because if they didn't, they would get belted at school and then they'd go home and their dad would belt them. You know, they get paddled here and then belted at home. It was a physically painful world back then. But he would do one through 25 or have you number one through 25 down the left side of the sheet, pull it hot dog style and 26 through 50. And they would be all very, very similar. So you got pretty fast at it. They called that the drill and kill method with kill in you know quotations because I don't think it ever happened. Um, but but um, the reasoning being it's repetition, just like athletes, right? Repetition, they call it muscle memory, right? Over and over again, over and over. Practice that golf swing, it'll become second nature. We don't really have the we, we don't do that anymore, right? If I assign 50 problems a night for y'all, y'all just flat out wouldn't do it. You'd key my car, you'd burn my house down, whatever. I, not all of y'all would, but you know, you know what I mean? You'd revolt. You'd be like, we're not doing that. You might be like, oh yes, you are. And then what recourse do I have? Just to give you the evil eye, you know? So we don't do that anymore. So the worksheets are really now not quantity over quality, but quality over quantity yeah so when you're working each one of these problems you really really you're not going to get the repetition you really really need to squeeze and wring all of the math you can out of every single one of these out of every single one of these problems get all that math nourishment that you can because you're not going to see a lot of them right so Keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. You're not going to see like six or seven more that are just like this so that by the time you finish all eight of them, you're like, I'm good at those. When I see that, I'm going to do this every time. It's more like, I know the strategy now. I got the strategy down. Boom. Now I can apply it to similar types of problems. Make sense? Just a change in mindset. All right, um, let's see, we're in here till, oh yeah, it's getting close. All right, well, that's really all I wanted to say. So we will start 1.3 tomorrow. Thanks for having it ready to go. Two, I'm not good at math, sorry. I originally thought about skipping 1.2, that's why, but it's factoring. And after those questions on that problem, I can't skip factoring, mm-mm, okay. All right, so have a, have a dandy of an afternoon, whatever that means, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's already September 2nd. September, it's like flying by, everybody. Savor every moment. Okay. Every moment.